Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Passage of Skin, first 15 minutes, where today we're actually doing a little bit of loot box openings, yes, it's the last day of Overwatch, so we're going to give it a wee bit of a try and see what we get in the last batch of boxes before they do a full reset and we don't get to properly enjoy it anymore. Yay! <laughs> I think that's the biggest problem with actually do, uh, taking part in betas, is that you don't have the content that you worked on to get as you're playing through the beta. Once the real game comes out, it all gets reset and you gotta go back to the beginnings, which is grand. I'm not too concerned about it. But today we got a McCready skin? Yeah, McCready or whatever it is. Um, never played as a character, don't really enjoy him, but um, his, his final attack, his uh, ultimate, is pretty damn impressive if you have a few people in viewpoint. I've been at the receiving end of it a few times, but um, that's a pretty nice poncho he's got on there. <coughs> the rest of it is, of course, uh, different spray cans. I don't really equip those if I go through. Let's go on to the next one. Give me some unlucky. Yeah. That's a McCree again. Road rage, huh? that's kind of quite relevant. And you that's look a like you've seen a ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that gave tingles up to my penis right there. That was quite exciting. Um, yeah, glasses victory pose for Winston. I like that. I like the victory poses. They're kind of like a... There's something that you can use more often. Um, voice lines and poses are the things I actually enjoy getting. I'm not too concerned about getting costume colors. Let's see what else we get. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite characters and a new pose for her. Damn right. She's gonna flex. That's one of my favorite characters. I play a lot with um with Zaya, uh, Zar Zaraya or Zarya. Ugh, I'm mispronouncing names all around the place. I'm tired, guys. That's a. I've been playing this for a couple of hours just to kind of get my last batch in before the full game finally comes out. I'm also going to be checking out a live screening of the animated shorts from uh, Overwatch at the Belfast Movie House. They're doing a one night only for the uh, opening night of this. Oh, currency. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, all right. So I don't know what those currencies are for. All right. <laughs> That's something new to me. The, um, the What they're screening is actually a dev panel, uh, just kind of answering questions, and all the animated shorts that have come out so far, and I think a special animated short that's coming out for launch day that kind of like ties them all together, I suppose. Oh, yeah, cool pose. Grab that bad boy. Ooh. I do like that one's kind of like almost elvish unicorn, dark lady. I like that. It's cool. Alright, so what else we got? Oh, I should grab that line. Uh, we'll be fine. So if you want to actually get more details about the actual uh, thing that's screening on the Movie House Cinema, you want to just go to the Movie House uh, website and just check out Dublin Road. That's where they're going to be screening it. Uh, it's £5 a ticket, and you do get a goodie bag for going down to it, which is a bit weird. Um, normally not one of those things where I expect you to get a goodie bag from but I've been to screenings before like I went to Dark Knight years ago and they gave me like a lithograph print that looked awesome so I'm looking forward to seeing what I'm going to get from this one but uh it's less about that and more about going to see some stuff being shown on a big screen the only thing I'm regretting is that they're not showing they're not actually like going to um give us hands on on a big screen like that'd be awesome to play a bit of Overwatch on a big screen but nobody's going to organize that for us uh plus probably I think it's quite destructive to the um Projectors? Is it, uh, am I completely wrong about that? Somebody who works in cinematography, tell me. Okay, let's see. Well, well it was a victory pose for my favorite girl, May. May. Again, pronunciations. I'm so bad. But uh, yeah, I want to see what her short is like. I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's really, really cool that uh, I've gotten really used to using her because she's such a bitch character <laughs> that you, whenever, say if somebody's attacking you, you put a wall behind them so they have to attack you, and then you start healing. And then they're kind of like just shooting at ice <laughs> while you're healing. And the wall is trapped behind them. And usually your teammates come in and bomb in and kill them. Uh, she's really not a direct damage character. Oh, it's even better when you cheese somebody. Like you freeze them, then go away and then freeze them again. I've done it to a couple of bastions that have been really hit like camping in a corner. I just froze them. Couldn't kill them. There's no way I'm going to hit do enough damage to kill them. But just freeze them and freeze them and freeze them. So they just get sick of sitting doing it in their turret pose because they can't react quick enough and transform back and run away. Uh, that's so much fun. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, no, that's the last of the crates. Oh, that was a little bit disappointing. Let's take a look in our hero gallery and see what's actually being added up. So, we knew you for Genji. We got sprays. That's all. No voice lines. 
Uh, Hanzo, we got a voice line. What do we get? Expect, Expect nothing. Expect nothing. I choose you, spirit dragon. <laughs> Pokemon. Expect nothing. I choose you, you spirit, spirit dragon. dragon. Okay. <laughs> what we got for McCree? Sprays for McCree and his costume. Uh, we know what we got for my Reaper. We got a line. You look so like you've, you've seen, seen a, ghost. a ghost. Was that all? What are you looking at? Uh, it's Was just a mean all? voice. Was that all? Trying to be creepy, but still looking like a 15-year-old in a black leather jacket. God damn, I, re I, like a lo I love Reaper just for the look of him, because he looks like everything that I would hate about this game if all the heroes looked like him. <laughs> I, I hate the look of him. I'm, he's a very effective. I've been killed by him many times, but I'm not going to use him. <clears throat> all right, let's see what else we've got in here. Reinhardt sprays. I, I really don't care about sprays. If it's uh, I want if it's someone that's like a pose or whatever, it's kind of more interesting. Voice lines. Oh yeah, we got You've one for got... Tracer. Looks like you need a timeout. Hey, because she plays got... with time, right? She plays with time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh god. Um. Hang on. I wonder if I. Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I didn't get the butt pose yet. Um. One stone. And you got sprays and a victory pose. Just that's about it. Well, that's absolutely everything I got for this, guys. Well, the open beta is now closing. It'll be on in a couple of hours. So if you haven't got to try it yet, get it your ass on. Get a good try. Uh, it will be very soon. I think it's I think it was the 23rd or 24th that the actual game's released. So this open beta is less a beta and just a play test. Uh, probably stress tests and servers and play types and that kind of thing. And uh, trying to find last minute things that uh, everybody's been cheesing. Kind of like uh, Junkrat and uh, Bastion's turret in certain locations. And, um, oh, yeah, the, the uh, people switching. Yeah, because uh, essentially, I've, I've noticed there's one thing with uh, Bjorn, whenever you've uh, turret him. It's great that you can Uber your turret from anywhere in the map, but it does mean whenever you're in capture point things, you get every, it literally means you can just have, like, one more extra set of guns at every at that location whenever you set it up. Really useful for the people who play as them, but um, I haven't really gotten to test it out too much. Um, yeah, I think this, this is a rambling message because all it is is kind of me notifying about the thing down at Movie House Dublin Road. Go and check it out. Five pound to go and see uh, animated shorts and get a wee goodie bag of stuff. Uh, I'm up for it, so I'm going to go for it and check it out. Um, it's a promotional tool. It's promotions. What are you, you going to do? <laughs> it's advertising, but I love the shorts. They, they are Pixar quality animations. If you haven't seen them already, go and check them out. There's been, on, I think there's th two or three. Three all together. Um... And then the trailers, the extended trailers that have been out. So they all kind of tie together. It's like a wee narrative piece. So I really recommend checking them out. I uh, will see you guys all in the next video. Because this has been Passage of Skin. You love me. I love you. And let's go save the world with Overwatch. I will see you all in the next video.